Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna show you a, a quick demonstration of the X-Tool D7 working on a, a Volvo vehicle. Now I will put the link to this kit in the description below this video. There are fakes, there are clones, they can damage your vehicle and it's not worth going down that route. So using the link below will take it to the genuine and official product, okay? So um, we, we're to Volvo C30, we've got a few warning messages, a few dashboard warning lights as well. And we're gonna use this tool to demonstrate diagnosis and resetting those where possible okay so we've got the tool plugged into the diagnostic port which is like down there you can see I'm running a wire which goes into the diagnostic port there and uh, we're gonna click on to diagnosis and we're gonna select our manufacturer so we're looking for Volvo when you see a little round dot with an arrow in it that means there is an update available for this particular manufacturer so this tool is actually in need of an update um, which I did well, I did about a month ago so they've all been updated again so it just shows you how often the software is being sort of produced and bettered and bettered uh, but you can still use it even though it needs an update so we've got airbag ABS we've got an engine message uh, on the dashboard here well I've got the engine light but we've got the engine message in the message center it should be there if you, if you look at the message center there right in any case uh, manual selection we're going to go to C menu to C30 2008 and system selection so it's going to ask us to di diagnose a specific system so these are the potential systems that we could diagnose it all really this might change depending on which vehicle you're in all right so this is quite an older vehicle so it's not going to give us as many systems as say for example like a 2020 vehicle would all right um, but the engine so we're going to select the engine first of all it's a diesel engine uh, you can see we've got the engine service required and we're going to go read DTC that's diagnostic trouble codes and these are the fault codes that we've been getting uh, ECM 0113 and 0101 these are both relating to the faulty mass airflow sensor or a MAF I'll just give you a closer look at that um, we haven't actually replaced the MAF as yet we do need to so um, for that reason we won't be able to erase these fault codes and we won't be able to get rid of that warning message just yet okay uh, but fear not we have we are able to do that with the other warning lights okay so that's just an example of like what you might see with the engine system and the type of fault codes that you might get with the engine system okay so if we come out of this and we can go back to the main systems so we go to ABS anti-lock braking systems you can see we've got the ABS light on traction control warning light uh, so if we go to read DTC's that light has started to flash now and it's telling us ABS signal fault of right front wheel speed sensor so that basically tells us there's a faulty ABS sensor front right ABS sensor if you wanted to you could double check that by checking the live data so if you go live data what you can do is you can select each wheel speed sensor which I'll, I'll show you right now um, so right velocity so front left front right rear left rear right so we're selecting the live data from the ABS sensors and we go um, what do we do from here do we go custom yeah so this gives us the values of the ABS sensors and what we did earlier was we drove the vehicle but we were, we were only getting readings from the front left uh, rear left and rear right we weren't getting anything from the front right so this tells you the speed of which the, the wheel is traveling okay and that one was just remaining at zero so that's one way to double check the ABS system okay but what we can do is because we put a new ABS sensor in we're just gonna go clear DTC and then we've got the flashing warning light there that will probably come on steady then it will turn off on its own so we'll just keep an eye on that actually what happens is that will come on as well and then they'll both turn off there we go so we're happy that the ABS system has now been sorted we can go back in to read DTC's no trouble code that has started flashing again just because we're interrogating that system okay and the same applies for the SRS the airbag system so we go to read DTC's this was the fault we're getting on the airbag system so it was just a connection underneath the driver's seat so again clear DTC's clearing trouble codes 
clear trouble codes successfully that airbag light will turn off on its own in the next few seconds there we go it's gone off now so that is just and the seatbelt light is simply because I haven't got the seatbelt engaged at the moment okay but that is just a basic basic example of how this tool will work it's a fantastic tool actually um, it also does a lot of special service functions as well so it does things like DPF regenerations, injector coatings, um, throttle calibration, battery registration, electronic park and brake calibrations, open and close the calibers for brake pads, things like that. Uh, but it's a fantastic tool, just a quick demonstration of it working on a Volvo and I hope you found it useful if you were maybe thinking about buying this tool for your Volvo or any other vehicle. Um, did I show you? Yeah, I think I did probably show you the list of manufacturers. Uh, I'll just go through them slowly but while I'm showing you this I'll just say again that I'll pop the link to these in the description below this video um, there are fakes there are clones on the market they can damage your vehicle it's just not worth going down that route so if you wanted to make sure you got the genuine product then just use the link in the description below this video okay we're just onto the Chinese ones now more Chinese vehicles than we thought actually but there we go so back to Europe and back to the start. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope this helps.